Hi, I'm here with Nurgle from uh, Behemoth and um, we're going to talk to you a little bit about um, your new album. It's been extremely well received here in Sweden, not only by rock press, but by yeah, mainstream media as just... well. You call it the Satanist, it's pretty controversial. Uh, yeah, but was, was there a thought behind that? Like you wanted to keep it to yeah. react or...? Well. If I wouldn't like people to react, yeah. I wouldn't be sitting <laughs> here and, and I wouldn't choose the path of being an artist. Yeah. Because what I've, what I've learned about myself, you know, and me being in this world is that uh, I'm here to inspire people. Because I get so much inspiration from other people, you know, I really look up to, you know, other artists and, and, and people who are, I don't know, I, I consider either clever or I can just uh, feed on, you know, their energy, their wisdom, whatever. And I pass the torch, you know. I, I really hope that I have something to say and there's energy and there's some knowledge and experience that I've collected from all these years that I would love to share with other people. So it's like, as much as I'm inspired by other people and stuff, I want to inspire the world. Mm -hmm. And now she actually seems to go outside of, it's not just artists or musicians or rock, metal magazines, it's the mainstream ones as well, it's starting to get it. Which is you know? cool, you know, I mean, it's one of the things that I've always tried to maintain with, uh, with this band is that I, I, I would hate to um, be defined and just, just, just be locked in a box, you know, with a black or death metal yeah. speaker and just stay there and, 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 and never leave that gap there. What I'm willing to do is, with my art, is to uh, transgress and uh, overcome and uh, eventually uh, elevate my art to, to a different levels. Don't ask me what, what these levels are because I don't know. I just know that we are dwelling within this extreme metal genre, but nothing really makes me happier than to see that you know it, it really infects mainstream or just goes beyond this uh, uh, yeah yeah this box and and just goes you know like through like different holes you know it just it you know it um, copulates with other yeah. Um, genres yeah it's fun it's awesome you invest uh, much of your energy when you write your lyrics or yes it come it's actually it's actually uh, more and more time and energy consuming thing yeah. for me because it's harder and harder to express myself and uh, I hate to repeat myself and I hate to repeat the same quotes and, and but I still do I know that I do but uh, I don't know I mean it's it, it is a challenge yeah. but I'm I'm specifically proud of uh, my work on uh, the Satanist mm. it's just uh, from all the all the stuff I've written mm -hmm. it's the most uh, mature, that's for yeah. sure. Oh, Father of Satan, my son, the lyrics to that song, it's really, you could just take out a piece of it and it's its just a poem, it's poetry. <laughs> it's, uh, the, this one I wrote, uh, I co-wrote with Krzysztof Azarowicz, mm -hmm. who uh, occasionally writes some stuff for the Hymn. Yeah. So he, he, he contributed on uh, three or four pieces on this yeah. album. Yeah. So Father of Satan, my son, is, is, is actually uh, our both of you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's teamwork. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's cool. What's up next then? Are you playing any summer festivals? This the Satanist tour worldwide is going to be massive because next yeah. we're, we're taking off in March, uh, recharging batteries, going to the US for another month long trek. Oh, yeah, it's a, a short yes. break and then another leg. Yes, so. yes. Okay. And then uh, it's like four weeks there. Mm. We're headlining the Alliance in the US, which is going to be another great uh, tour. With a really good company, actually. Mm -hmm. We got Gold Hall there, we got 1349, we got um, Inquisition, bodies yeah. that we met on this too, so it's, it, it's, it's a good company. It's a lot of evil music on the piano. I love it. Yeah. And then we are uh, headlining, uh, doing another headlining tour in Russia. Mm -hmm. uh, we're actually going uh, to Vladivostok, even, which oh. is like close by the. So, yeah, it's so far away. Yeah, like Love yeah, I laugh about it because you know what I say. When people ask me, you go to Vladivostok, yes, it's the place that you know there's the Vladivostok and then uh, there is Abyss. Yeah. And there's nothing the behind world ends it, you know. There. Yeah, exactly. And then we go back to uh, go back home and we start a massive uh, festival season. Okay. Which is I don't know, like for now it's 
15 or 20 festivals confirmed. Uh -huh. You don't know if you're coming to Sweden? We? I'm not sure because there's like 20 of them. I just don't remember. There is there's another idea which which we are actually talking now. But you know, it all starts with a chat, you know, and then we usually materialize this uh, these visions. Is a uh, separate uh, Scandinavian leg somewhere in 2015. Yeah. Norway, Sweden, Finland, and Baltics. Yeah. So this might be happening. Uh, yeah. That would be great, and we look forward to you coming back. Yeah. And the gig tonight. Yeah, it's first I mean, of all. It's it's seriously. I mean, it's always a pleasure to come back to Sweden, and uh, I mean, the whole Scandinavia is always like very, uh, really warm welcome here, and uh, it's a good country with a good vibe, with good energy, and, and great people. And we, all, all the musicians, you know, we you know hang out there every show. Oh, that's great! It's a pleasure having you here. Thank, thank you so you much, so much Nergo, for uh, talking to us, and thank you for watching. Um, yeah, see you later. See you later, guys. Cheers. <laughs> Enjoy the show.